You are welcome our beloved candidates of Global Junior School to this science lesson. Thank you very much for taking care of yourself and please also thank uh, your parents eh, for taking care of you. It is not easy to get bread in this situation. Eh? Yes, you are most welcome to this science lesson and we want to discuss something called mechanical advantage. The word mechanical is an, ad an, ad ad an adjective. Uh, coming from um, a noun that is a mechanic meaning you're talking about machines but I'm adding a word called mechanical advantage so that is our discussion for today okay and uh, in that discussion you will have to yeah that's the point mechanical advantage over a lever or you can say over machine this mechanical advantage, you can also abbreviate it as MA, capital M, capital A, meaning still calculations. So, what is mechanical advantage? What is mechanical advantage? Mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine simplifies work. How many times does that machine which you have at home? simplify the work and make it more easier you get a point there so that's what they call mechanical advantage for example if you have a vehicle and you want to go to town okay how fast does this vehicle move right that machine of yours as a vehicle how fast does it do its work of moving and simplifies your work the number of times Okay, or we can also say mechanical advantage is the ratio of load to effort. Meaning, to get mechanical advantage, you have to get the load divided by the effort. Why am I saying you have to divide? Because by the definition, I'm saying it is the ratio of load to effort. Remember. In math, still, we can borrow some knowledge from there. If they say six boys share the man mangoes in the ratio of two to three. Two to three. Now, meaning, these children share the mangoes that ratio of two to three. I get in the concept now here. So, you're saying mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine simplifies work. Or is the ratio of load to effort. But... If we want to understand this point very well, we need to understand some other keywords in mechanical advantage of a machine or of lever. For example, the greater the mechanical advantage of a machine, the more it simplifies the work. Meaning, if you calculate the mechanical advantage and you get mechanical advantage, maybe it is two, three, four. So the greater the mechanical advantage, the more that machine will simplify the work. Okay? Also, we can say another point of concern, mechanical event does not have units. That's also a key point not in this lesson. Mechanical advantage does not have units. Why? You never know. Pure in number two. Give a reason why mechanical advantage does not have units. Simple. Mechanical advantage is a ratio of forces. A ratio of forces. Meaning, you are dividing that force of load okay and uh, effort if they have units as mango units both of them which means them have to disappear so it has no units okay another point of concern mechanical advantage of a machine is expressed as a ratio of the load to the effort in other words that's the formula so we can say our mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by what the effort Okay, so in summary, you can simplify, you can ignore the word and say MA, meaning mechanical advantage, equals to L divided by E, e is the effort. Are we there, my good children? We want to go slow, 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 and we pick the points. These are very examinable areas. Don't sit back and say, I'm not going to do exams. You have to do it. It is a comparison. You have to go to senior one. Just have the conviction and the trust that yes, God will clear up everything. Okay, so that is the formula of finding mechanical advantage. 
So from this formula of mechanical advantage, you can get the definition now. Is the ratio of load to effort. That child in P1 can say mechanical advantage is a, by, is a dividing of load the effort. So when you divide that, you get mechanical advantage called what? MA. Good. So I want to see some examples how to find the mechanical advantage of a machine. I want to find how fast can these machines which we have at home simplify the work. For example, in my example one, we have it there. Find the mechanical advantage of a machine which uses an effort of 20 newtons to overcome the load of 60 newtons. Okay? Now, remember, this is our question of concern. They want us to find the MA, the mechanical advantage. Remember, mechanical advantage is the ratio of load to the effort. So, our formula is there. Mechanical advantage equals to load divided by what? Effort. Good. As the formula says there. MA equals to L divided by what? E. What do we have to do? See, just kind of see the point now. In the question, what is the effort and what is the load? Who has seen the point? By show of hands. Good, I'm seeing one hand, three, four, six. Good. Thank you for very many hands, meaning everybody is following up, all right? So the load is 60N and the effort is what? 20. N. N meaning what? Newtons. So we continue and substitute in our formula and say yes. Now it will equal to 60N divided by 20. N. Now, where have my N, my units disappeared from? Remember we are dividing. So which means I divided the N by N and the remainder is nothing. So I have now 60 divided by what? 20. So we have now 0 by 0. Okay. 6. Okay, 2 by 2, we have 1. Then in 6 by 2, we have 3. So 3 divided by 1, I have 3 oranges. Share among one person. Share them with us. Give them to one person. What do we get? We get 3. Okay? So our mechanical advantage, our mechanical advantage will be 3. Is there any mistake in my answer? Before I underline my answer. Is there any mistake? Mm. Somebody saying yes, there's a mistake. No. That is my answer. Who knows, who knows the reason as to why we are not putting the units? Why am I not putting units there? From the beginning, what do we say? Mechanical advantage is expressed as a ratio. That is the reason as to why it has no units. So we underline our answer, right? Super, that is our answer. Three. Good. Let's try our example two. Example two. And uh, in our example two, it says, find the mechanical advantage of the seesaw below. Now, don't get confused with moments. No. We are using a seesaw to find the mechanical advantage. Okay? For example, that's my seesaw. We have the load as 100 newtons. And the effort which is applied on that seesaw is 25 newtons. Then, have they told us to find the moments? No. It is a mechanical advantage. So what do we do? Good. Meaning, if my load is up and the thing was up, where should the arrow for the effort face? Down. Mm. So next time when they bring an examination, they say, on the diagram below, show the direction of the effort. Arrows of the effort has to go where? Down. And the arrow for the pivot has, for the load has to go where? Up. Meaning, if I stay on this side, and the other one is heavier than me, not to balance very well, the arrow has to be going down. This is up. So this is our example. Can we go in our area of concern? Find the mechanical advantage of the seesaw. Okay. Solution, okay? We have MA, mechanical advantage, equals to load divided by effort. So then we have, good, 100 newtons divided by 25 newtons. Okay. N divided by N. That's how they have died naturally. We have divided them and they have gone. I see where 
the things going meaning that at the end we shall not have units on mechanical advantage because it's a ratio we are dividing everything so now we have 100 divided by 25 okay 100 divided by 25 by 25 we have 5 by 20 by by 1 20, 25 by 100 we have 20 so 20 divided by 5 by 5 here we have 1 by 5 is 1 then by 5 we have a 4 should I stop there as a serious candidate? No. Do work as a candidate. What do you have to do? Organize your work. This is a new era. We are not like candidates of 1900. Alright? So organize your work and say mechanical advantage equals to 4. That is our answer. No units, remember that. So we have used this diagram of a seesaw to find the mechanical advantage. And I'm very sure you've got it. Good. Is it possible for this examiner who is going to set for you the PLA and is very much aware that you are, you are in the situation of COVID-19 to bring this number in a different way? Yes. Many times as it, when it comes to setting of exams, all examiners want children to pass. But how are you passing by applying what you learned and improving on your answer? So, the questions are already simple, but they need people who are sober, with sober mind and focused. Now, we want to change, I want to change something technical, very small, and see if you'll be able to understand and approach these questions. For example, is it possible to give us mechanical advantage and they give you the effort and they tell you, please find the Lord? It is simple, meaning if I have given mechanical advantage and I have given the effort until you please find the Lord, will you do it? Yes. Just substitute in the formula and you calculate, right? Good. For example, let us say, let us try out and see this. For example, find the effort when the mechanical advantage is given. We want to see how can we find finding the effort when mechanical advantage is given? Is it possible? Yes. For example, example one, find the effort applied to overcome the load of 70 Newton using a wheelbarrow of mechanical advantage. What? Two. Now, you have the load in the wheelbarrow and you are pushing it. Okay? And as you are pushing this wheelbarrow, what is inside the wheelbarrow there as a load? It is 70 Newtons. What is the mechanical advantage? It is two. What they want us to find? They want to find what is the effort? How much, how much energy are you applying that force to push that load of 70 newtons? Simple number. Since you are talking about mechanical advantage and load, so you have to do with solution, you have to put your formula. Mechanical advantage equal to load out of effort. That's the formula. In the question they have given us, Mechanical advantage, which is MA. And also in the question they gave us what? The load. They want us to find the effort. Simple. A bright child, if possible, if you're a monocle in science, you have strong faith in science, you can also find this one by saying, let the effort be X. Or let the effort be Y. But as you're concluding your answer, you bring say, therefore, the effort is this. But to simplify work, you can say, Okay, mechanical advantage is 2. Okay, and my load, the load is 70 newtons. 70 newtons divided by E. E is the effort you want to find. Mechanical advantage has no units. That's why it is there too. Load is 70. And this 70 is the newton. The, the newton force as the load. Now, good. Mechanical advantage is going to equal to 70 divided by E. I have ignored the Newtons that I can deal with figures first. But remember, I have to conclude my answer because I'm not divided anything with this Newton, the force. Good. We continue. Mechanical advantage equals, we we're saying mechanical advantage. To get E, we are going to multiply on both sides by E, which is the effort. So times E. E equals to 17 divided by E times 
A. So what do we do? Do we are dividing now. That A by that one. What do I have now? I have 2E divided by 2. We have to define the value of the effort. So we are going to divide both sides by 2. So therefore we have 70 divided by 2. So we have E, sorry, 2 by 2. Okay, get 1 by 2, 1. So our by 2, we have by 2, that is a 1 by 2, that is 35. 35. So our E, which is the effort, is... Who has got the point? What is our E, the effort? It is 35 newtons. So members, have you seen the technology here? These are questions which come in the mocks to check our understanding. Are you really sober? Can you use the knowledge which you were taught to find the mechanical advantage and you find other values in the formula? Yes, this is very possible, right? Good. Let's try out. Okay, with another example. For example, how about when they say, find the load? Will you find it out? For example, my heading here is finding the load when the effort and the mechanical advantage is given. Right? So we have the example as find the load to be overcome by an effort of 35 when a man uses a machine with a mechanical advantage of 2. Okay? So a solution. Simple. Get a formula, substitute in, and then you get to know. In the question, we have the effort, we have the mechanical advantage. What do they want us to find? They want us to find the what? The load. That force which has to be overcome, right? Good. So we have load out of E, that is the effort. So mechanical advantage is 2 equals to 1. Sorry, it equals load out of E. What is our load? We don't know it. So we have mechanical advantage, which is 2 equals to L, which is the load, divided by the effort, which is 35 newtons. What do we do in this case? We want to find, we want to find the load. What do we do? I'm not a good mathematician. Help me, friends. I'm waiting for your response. What can we do? Simple. Since we want to find the load, divide both sides by the effort, which is 35 N. So we are going to say that is 2 equals mechanical advantage equals 2. L divided by that, then on both sides times 35, even this side times 35. So 35 by 35, we have 1 by 35, we have 1. So on this side we have now 70. Is it true? Come on. Side work. 2 times 35. 2 times 5, we get 10. Write a 0. Carry 1. 2 times 3, what do you get? 6. There is a 1 which I have to which I carried up. I have to regroup, which is now 6 plus. The 1 to make it as 7. That's why you're getting our 70. So our L, which is the load, equals to 70. Should I stop there? Who has seen a mistake? I like that. Yes, it must have units. I'm not finding mechanical advantage. I'm finding the load. So our answer therefore is load equals to 70N. So my candidates, my dear candidates, we have been dealing with mechanical advantage. But a point of concern is here. The more the mechanical advantage, the faster that machine will simplify work. Number two, we are going to begin dealing with mechanical advantage somewhere, all right? But I want to get to know that all machines are, do, are always with mechanical advantage of one, always mechanical advantage of what? Two. It has never gone beyond two. So in the next discussion, as we continue to discover, there are those machines which have mechanical advantage of two, others have one. It will never go beyond that, right? So, thank you very much for really paying attention in this lesson, for understanding mechanical advantage, the ratio of load to effort. 
and substituting in and finding mechanical advantage. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so we have, uh, all right, we have an activity there for us. Find the mechanical advantage of a lever which uses an effort of 15N to lift the load of 45. Simple. MA equals the load divided by what? E. Substituting the load divided by the effort. Work it out. Number two. Find the effort needed by a machine to lift the load of 45 Newton when it has a mechanical advantage of 3. Remember I've just said Normally, mechanical advantage is always one or two. But here I'm saying it is three. Now, some examiners bring in this for just to disturb our brain. Right? But don't worry. Work it out and find for me the effort needed. Then lastly, find the load that can be lifted using an effort of 15 newtons when it has a mechanical advantage of two. Thank you very much, our dear candidates. Stay safe. Stay home. Please appreciate mommy for what they are doing for you in this situation. Attach value on the work. Don't ignore the work. It, you must do PLOE. That is the reality. Thank you very much.